What is up, everyone? Your presidential trio is back at it again. And this time, we are proud to present an electronics tier list. Now, this won't include all electronics like a fridge, because then Donald would beg us to put that into S tier. But maybe we'd do a bigger version of this list as a technology tier list later on. Okay, but who the hell wouldn't put fridges into S tier? Like, you got me fucked up, man. That literally keeps our food cold and is a very valuable thing to our society. Like, think to yourself for a moment what we would do without fridges. Uh, we'd use coolers or ice boxes. Not that different. How is that not different? We need to constantly buy ice, and then that would get annoying to drain. What you just said is like saying, oh, we don't need this stove. We can just make a fire real quick to cook all of our food. Ooh. He definitely got you there, Joe, but enough bickering because I think most people would agree with Donald because it was kind of out of pocket of you, Joe, to assume a fridge would not go in S tier. Jesus, fine. It's my bet. Good thing there's no fridge on this tier list. But anyways, up first we got the TV, and man, I love TVs, and I think they immediately belong in S tier. Like, think about it. We watch our shows on there, we also play games on there, and now with smart TVs, they've only gotten better since their invention, and I think they belong high up there. A little stuttery starting off, but valid as hell. They are pretty important for entertainment, and to be fair, you do need a TV if you plan on watching movies or shows unless you watch them on your phone or computer. Yeah, but the screen size isn't the same, and it just doesn't feel right if you're watching a 4K movie or show on a teeny tiny screen. The same would go for playing video games, because if you have some game running at 4K, would you really want to have that being streamed to your phone rather than on your big ass TV? I'll answer that for you, and it's no. And speaking of video games, our next entry is video game consoles, which I coincidentally also have going into S tier. I know it has a PlayStation 5 logo on it, but I'm including every single console out there. These are possibly one of the best electronic inventions in the whole entertainment industry. Like, I don't think people realize how much money video games make or how they're bigger than the film industry. Everyone loves playing video games and it is becoming the new normal, so I fully believe it deserves the S tier ranking. I'm surprised you said all of that without stuttering Sleepy Joe, but you made a valid point on video games. They are booming and are more popular than other things in the entertainment industry. I mean, we got eSports coming with them too, and it's just something that'll only continue to get bigger and bigger. On God, Donald, up next we got a bit of a stinker. I got speakers, and let's be real, who uses speakers? Like, unless it's in a public place or like an event or even surround sound for your TV, who the hell is using them? Like, I mean, portable speakers too. Like, I don't see much use in them when we have everyone in the world using AirPods or headphones. Like, even when we game or watch something, I use headphones most of the time. So for that, I think I'll place them into C tier. Okay, but wouldn't car speakers or TV speakers count for this? Like, you're really gonna use headphones in the car, Joey? That's a trick question because I'm not allowed to drive anymore. Ever since I fell asleep on the wheel, an accidentally vehicular man slaughtered this group of kids waiting for their bus one morning. What the hell? Why have we not heard of this yet? Oh, it's the CIA. I had the same thing happen to me down in Oklahoma. I was too busy trying to eat my bowl of mac and cheese, and I was driving with my knees, and then boom. I look up, and I got toddlers in my front end of my hood. Thank God for the CIA, though, and thankfully they told me it happens to everyone. No, that does not happen to everyone. Jesus Christ, this has gotten so morbid. Joe, please just continue with the list. Uh, don't know why you're making this into a big deal, but sure, up next we got laptops and they will be placed into B tier. They're kind of being made useless by smartphones. Like before it would be like, damn, I gotta write an essay, but I'm gonna be traveling. I guess I gotta bring my laptop. Now I can just write up a whole paper and pass a law from my phone while I'm taking a huge diarrhea dump in my house. And because of what I mentioned earlier, I guess I may as well rank smartphones right now, and I think we all know this, but I am placing them into S tier, like there's no argument here. We all can't live without our phones. You may be watching this video right now on your phone as we speak. That being said, they serve a purpose in calling other people, but not only that, you can entertain yourself by watching a movie, show, or playing a video game. And if you need to get work done, you can write papers, upload documents, watch some videos on your favorite website. My favorite website with videos is one that starts with an X. Can you guess the name, Joe? Ooh, I know this one. I know you're an X videos type of guy, Donald. Well, that or Xamster. Get your mind out of the gutter. I meant X as in the website formerly known as Twitter. Jesus Christ, Joe. Yeah, you can't be saying those things, Joe. What the hell? It was a damn setup. It's okay. 
Let's just move past that and go to our next entry, which is the desktop we have on here. I am giving this an S tier. Now you may be like, oh my God, this virgin is putting his precious gaming PC in S tier. And first of all, I am no virgin. Second of all, I just like desktops. You can do everything a console can, and you can work on your PC, which you can't do on console, so like Checkmate. Okay, Joe, I agree with this, but you could have sold this better. Like there were so many things you could have said, but you just stuttered and faltered your way to the finish line. Can you blame him, Barack? It's getting close to his bedtime. Haha, <laughs> very funny. It's only 7.30 and we all know I sleep around 8.30 and 9 p.m. So I still have a bit of juice left to finish this list. Up next, we got a picture of a Steam Deck, but I meant it to be handheld consoles. So like a PSP, 3DS, Game Boy, Nintendo Switch. Basically anything portable and meant for pure gaming. I have that going into A tier. Like I would rather have these than a gaming laptop because who the hell wants to game on a laptop that will overheat or have a fan as loud as the towers collapsing during 9-11? Jesus, Joe, too soon. That day is literally around the corner. Have some goddamn respect. Was that in poor taste just now? Beyond poor taste, Joe. What the hell goes on in your head sometimes? I just thought it would be funny because laptop fans get loud. I should have used my school shooting joke instead. No, you should have not used either. Jesus, fine. You guys are bumming me out. Let's just finish this list so I can nap before I sleep. Up next, we got a Wi-Fi router. And this kind of has to go in S tier. I like the internet as much as everyone else, and I think without it, all of these technologies would be terrible. Like no Wi-Fi for streaming movies, no Wi-Fi for playing video games, and no Wi-Fi for disproving whether or not 9-11 was an inside job. Not this shit again. Now hold on, he may be onto something. Jesus Christ. What is up, gang? We are bringing you all another tier list, but this time it's gonna be a pretty unique one because we have an inventions tier list. So we got a lot of things on here, and to be honest, some of these pictures I don't get, but I'm sure we can guess what it is. Before we get started, though, I want to apologize to Barack. Oh, you're finally apologizing for all the jokes you were cracking about me during the Call of Duty tier list. No, I want to apologize that there are no bombs in this tier list because I'm sure that would be an S tier ranking invention for you. Oh my God, Joe, with no regard for human life. Wow, this again, huh? Jokes aside, let's get this list started. And up first, we got alcohol, and I think we all know this is an instant S tier. If you ask me personally, I think alcohol might be like at the top of the top as far as human inventions go. Holy W, Joey, but what's your preferred drink? Get me anything that'll mess me up the fastest, but I will shotgun a couple of beers if there's no hard liquor. Moving on, we got cameras, and these are pretty good. Being able to capture a moment in time and share it with other people is pretty tight. I think a solid A tier is in order because we got stuff like videos now and our smartphones have built in cameras, but I'll put some respect on professional cameras because they take some gorgeous pictures. More importantly, guys, we got one of Barack's favorite items here. And unfortunately for him, I'll only be placing guns into B tier. They're fun to shoot and sure they cause a lot of death and destruction with homicides, wars, and random shootings. But hear me out, without guns, we would not have Call of Duty, so checkmate. I bet Barry is biting his tongue and crying that you're placing his precious tools of destruction so low. You guys act like I'm fascinated with guns when in reality the only two guns I got are my left and right arm. Boo! We did not like that joke. But I guess you're right. The only way you truly love guns is if they had explosive rounds. Hey ho! Oh my god, Joey, let the man breathe. Okay, we'll lay off bombing Barry for a bit and move on to our next invention. And honestly, this is an S tier automatically. Like without planes, we wouldn't be able to fly, and without flying, I wouldn't be able to take my trips to Cancun as easily. I think for most people, they'd agree that it's kind of cool that we can travel so quickly thanks to this metal monster with wings. And I'd agree with them. Up next, we got banks, and I really don't know what to say about banks. Sure, they're super useful, but why put the money in a place where the government can see when instead I can bury all my funds in some place near the desert with undisclosed coordinates? I'll still give it an A tier since I know boring people like banks. Uh, Joe, how much money do you have buried and uh, where is it by chance? Nah, uh, I will not be telling you. I already fell for that trick with Hunter and now I'm out a couple of bands. Let's move on to our next invention and that is the good old fashioned compass. And uh, we don't really use compasses anymore. So unless you're camping or are stranded somewhere, I don't think these are that good and we'll place it into D tier. But you know what I think is good? Freaking cars, and man, oh man, I love me some cars. They're like planes except on the ground, and I, I personally love cars. I think that's an automatic S tier because they're such a vital thing to America, unlike stupid compasses. And you know what? Throw CDs in D tier too. 
because who the heck is using CDs in this day and age? Um, most people who game on consoles use that, Joey. What the hell are you blabbering about? Oh, well, I download everything for the most part because I can't be bothered going into a store and buying the physical copy. I guess I'm just living in the future, unlike everyone else, but uh, up next, we got something pretty cool, and that is cans, and I think cans are pretty important and actually belong in S tier because without them, we wouldn't have canned food and general food preservation. Then following up this S tier, we got another freaking S tier, and that is water or more so. I mean, plumbing and water flow for things. This is an obvious S tier because even though I don't really shower much, I imagine people love to wash their hands and clean themselves instead of building up a healthy immune system with their germs like me personally. That is so vile and filthy, Joe. You could have just said you liked running water because you're able to water your lawn or flush the toilet. Yeah, uh, to tell you the truth, I, well, uh, I don't really flush the toilet that much. I kind of just let it build like a tower till I decide it's too big. Bro is building a tower of dookie. What in the ever living hell? It's to conserve water. So in reality, I'm kind of a genius. The more I think about it, the more I realize how smart I am. Anyways, up next, we got clocks and who really cares what time it is and who even uses old fashioned clocks. Everything is on our phones or watches, so I think this will be our first C tier. But anyways, up next we got a printing press, and I don't think we really use printers as much as we used to, but it's still a pretty big invention that allowed people to have more access to books and literature. I'll give it a C tier because the invention up next kind of made it useless. And that's the internet, like you're watching this using the internet, and you can read anything online or watch any type of video online if you catch my drift. <laughs> but yeah, it gets the most obvious S tier on this freaking planet, bro. Then after that, we got fire, and fire is fire, what can I say? Without this, we'd have no cooked food, and no cooked food means you cannot order any foot-long chili cheese dogs from Sonic, and Lord knows we can't have that. So I have to give fire an S tier as well. Ah, hell nah. My man brought out the foot-long glizzy to the conversation. No way you actually enjoy those things, Joey. Like, let's be real for one second, and can you just admit those things are hot garbage? And even if you do eat those, then that means the dumps you're taking must be borderline toxic gas levels of smell. Like you could probably air out a whole county with your dumps. Nah, those things are delicious. And if you saw the way I throat those things, you'd never question my love for any sort of glizzy. Also, the smell of my turds is not your concern. I doubt your dookies smell like rainbows and posies. But enough of me professing my love for those delicious, delicious meat rods being put into my mouth and my bowel movements. Let's instead, let's talk about this next invention. And I think this is an irrigation system and that grows our crops and waters our plants. But like, who really cares? Because me personally, I think it's only a B tier. You do realize without a complex irrigation system, our crops die and alongside that the animals and with that, you don't get your sonic foot long chili dogs. Nah, by the time that happens, they'll have like hot dog meat made out of plastic and I'll be fine. Up next, we got the light bulb, and this is an instant S tier for me because I'm super scared of the dark, and I do not like not being able to see. Yeah, like if the light goes out, it's always super hard to find, Barack. Now what the fuck? It's also hard to find Joe because it would be dark, dude. Don't get your panties all rustled up. Guys, please, no interrupting me when I'm making the best damn list ever imagined. Well, as I was saying, up next, we got a magnifying glass. This could be glasses, but I don't really care either way because we got contact lenses now and laser eye surgery. So either way, this is a B tier to me. It's okay, and really it only gets this high because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be glasses. But up next, we got a map, and I fuck with maps even less than I do with glasses. I'll be giving it a C tier. I don't need maps because I can look at everything from my phone, and I don't want to pull up this big old paper map. I'd look so lame if I did that. Don't worry, Joe, you look lame as hell no matter what you do or wear. I don't think I agree with that. I think I look pretty rad. But anyways, up next, we got what I presume to be an engine and we got all forms of energy slash power coming up next. But as for engines, well, uh, they power cars and other stuff. So I have to give it a B tier. Then we got windmills and I think they generate power and are eco-friendly, so that's a B tier. Then we got nuclear energy and that's like the best one, right? I don't really know but it uses nuclear energy and that sounds cool, so I have to give it an A tier. Dude, have you not seen what happened in Chernobyl? Oh, I saw that series online, it was pretty cool, but what does that show have to do with real life stuff? Joe, it's based on a real life nuclear power plant that blew up and devastated all forms of life in the surrounding area. That place is inhospitable. Yeah, but that shit looked kind of dope in the series, so I'm gonna have to keep it there. Then we got what I think is an alphabet. 
It's a book with letters, so let's just call it the alphabet, and that's pretty important for speaking and learning, so I think an A tier is in order. Then after that, we got penicillin, and I don't use it personally, but I know hella people do, so let's go ahead and give it a fat B tier. Jesus Christ, Joey, you're running through these last ones. Are you going to at least talk about them a little or why they're that low? Nah, I'm more excited to talk about the next invention, which is utensils. These are great for when I'm eating soup or something that I can't hold. But other than that, I'm using my hands like some animal. I think a solid A tier is set for that. And we got a pretty bad one up next, and that is the radio. I only use the radio whenever the Bluetooth in my car is cooked and I'm forced to listen to whatever sorry ass DJ has to put on. I will admit it was popping in my early days when I was a kid, so I have to put some respect on it and give it a C tier. Yeah, the radio isn't too awful. Like, I think it can still be good, but it has to be done online only. And there's also that new artificial intelligence DJ that Spotify has. That doesn't really count. It's more like a randomized playlist, but it's whatever. Up next, we got the wheel. And without this, I don't think like cars, planes, and anything circular would even be thought of. Like, isn't this the go-to for like explaining human inventions? I think this is an easy S tier. And up next, we got another S tier, I think because we got satellites and without satellites, we would not be able to use the internet or a lot of things in general. Due to the sheer necessity of it, I feel like it has to be high up. Oh man, I'm looking at what's next and I'm salivating. We got some big heavy hitters up next. Are you excited about the train? Are you uh, a little autistic? No, you dumbass. I'm talking about the TV and smartphone. Oh, I wouldn't have blamed you for liking trains. I fuck with them. Well, now I got to talk about these next two and we got TVs slash displays. And that's another automatic S tier because we need displays for almost everything. And TV in general is popping and amazing. Then we got smartphones. And again, this is an easy S tier because these goddamn things do everything. One moment I'm filing my taxes, and then in the next I am on the hub. Dude, what the hell don't talk about that on our video? I never specified which hub, but uh, it's exactly the one you think it is. And now that we're talking about it, I uh, want to go on it. So let's hurry and finish. And our last two entries are trains, and I assume electricity is after that. As for trains, I think they're pretty cool and good for transport, especially for places like Europe. But we're in America, so they're only half useful. But I like to go on a train and stare out the window and vibe to some tune. So for the vibes alone, I give trains an A tier. And wrapping up the list, I'll give electricity an S tier. I don't feel like I have to explain this at all. What about people who live off the grid? And what about those innocent lives you took in the Middle East? Yeah, let's not mention either. What up gamers? Me, Sleepy Joe, and Barack are here to rank some consoles. It should be noted that this was Donald's idea. And since me and Joey have PCs and don't really game on console that much, we can't give out the best opinion for the newer stuff. On God switching to PC was the best decision I ever made. Okay, guys, we get it. You guys are losers with ugly wives that won't leave you if you buy a $3,000 setup. Anyways, let's get this list started. I'm putting the Nintendo 64 at good tier because I liked it a lot and it was extremely solid. Questionable take, Donnie. I think it's an S tier. Yeah, Donald, it was a revolutionary thing for the time and had elite games like Ocarina of Time and GoldenEye. Um, listen, guys, I'm making the list and I don't disagree with you two. But this is quite possibly the best list ever made. Some say it's really one of the only real lists that will ever exist. Just trust me, fellas. After that, I have the Dreamcast at bad tier. Like, did anyone ever own this thing? I remember Shapiro kept raving about how underrated it was and how it's actually one of the better consoles for its time. But like, who gives a shit if no one owns it? Yeah, I don't remember it that well. Of course you don't remember it, Joe. But next up, we got the PlayStation 1 and OG Xbox at good tier because it was really fun and great, but I don't think either was God tier. Yeah, they are cool, but the PS2 was way better. Agreed, you better put that shit in God tier, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Joe and Barack. It is my list and I will put it wherever I want. I just so happen to agree with you two both, so it will go in God tier. It had some elite games and just good memories overall from that gaming generation. Same goes with the PS2 Slim, it's going in God tier. Next up is the Game Boy Advance, and let me tell you too, this shit is going in God tier right off the bat. Oh shit, now Donald is cooking. I know, I know, I told you guys to trust me because the MasterChef is now here. The PSP unfortunately will not be getting much love from me. There's no iconic games and it wasn't supported that much, I feel. And don't get me wrong guys, it was cool, but it just had nothing on the next console coming up. Since I know where this is going, I'm not gonna hate you too much for this, but the PSP was mad underrated. Barack, I want to agree with you, but I'm with Donnie here. It just isn't that good compared to the DS that's coming up. 
Barack, your brain must be scrambled from eating Michelle's low-calorie foods. But the PSP is perfectly rated, and the DS is as well, since I'm putting it in God tier. Yeah. Settle down, Joey. But the DS was elite, and it even let you play Game Boy games. I just don't see how the PSP could compete. It had no chance like Hillary did against me in 2016. Well, some would say it wasn't that much of a landslide. Haters gonna hate Barack. You're just upset no one gives a shit about your PSP. Moving on, we have another S tier in the Wii. Let me tell y'all about the Wii. What do y'all know about the motherfucking Wii? Donald, I was playing that shit in the White House. Of course I know about the Wii. Yeah, Donnie, me, and Barack were playing it like crazy. Shit like Wii Sports went wild, not to mention the exclusives on it were good as hell, too. Okay, since you guys want to take over my list and tell me everything, then fuck me in my opinion, I guess. No, sorry, Donald. Please continue. You're cooking right now. Since you asked nicely, I will. I have the PS Vita at OK tier. It was cool as shit. But much like the PSP, I don't think it was supported a lot and was too advanced for its time. We weren't ready. Valid. Next, I have the Xbox 360 at God tier because that was the console that showed us the jump from older consoles to next gen. Shit was amazing seeing the transition, but I have the PS3 at OK tier because even though it had the same great stuff as the 360, it was just too expensive and came out later. The Blu-ray reader was cool though, and I won't even make a comment on the Kinect. I loved watching movies on my PS3. Yeah, it was pretty cool, Joey, just like how the 3DS was cool and had a nice little gimmick, but it couldn't capture the magic the DS and Game Boy had for me, so it belongs in OK tier. But this next item I have is going straight to trash tier. The Wii U is fucking garbage. I'm not going to argue that it wasn't garbage, but can we acknowledge that it had Super Smash Bros, and that's all we needed? And Breath of the Wild. Okay, yeah, it had good exclusives, but that shit was trash. Next, we got another god tier, and that is the PlayStation 4. It was a great jump into next gen again, but in my opinion, Sony handled it a lot better than Microsoft did. It really shows that they learned from their mistakes. The Xbox One had a worse release and didn't have great exclusives like Spider-Man and Infamous Second Son. Yeah, I loved Spider-Man so much. Exactly, Sleepy Joe. I bet that shit woke your ass up with how good it was. And to be honest, the PS4 Pro was good, and that's all I have to say on it. Same goes with the Xbox One S and X. They were solid. But more importantly, one of my favorites is coming up, and that is the Nintendo Switch. Got an OLED one, and that shit fucking slaps. You're looking like a bit of a Nintendo fanboy right now, Donald. No, no, let him keep cooking. I love the Switch. Rare W from you, Joe, but yeah, the Switch is amazing, and the exclusives alone carry it for Nintendo. I have another thing going in S tier, and it's going to be the PS5. Everyone should already have one by now, and if you own one, you already know that it's amazing. This is around the time me and Barack got gaming PC, so we can't really grade these, to be honest. Yeah, me and Joey can't really say much, but is it true, Donnie, that the PS5 controller feels really cool? Yes, that controller makes me want to come with all that haptic feedback. Not exactly what I was asking for, but thanks for the input. I kind of want one now. Joe, you need to get one. Next, I have the Xbox Series S at God tier as well, and the Series X at OK tier. Why is that? I'm glad you asked, Joey. You see, the Series S provides a nice and affordable way to get into next-gen gaming, as it's cheaper than the PS5, but the Series X is more expensive, and at that point, the PS5 is way better. Which one has better exclusives? Is that even a fucking question, Joe? It's obviously PlayStation. Why the fuck would you ask a question like that when we just talked about how cool Spider-Man is? Sorry, I just find it odd you have so many God-tier consoles. And if the Series S is God-tier like you said, then it should have better exclusives. And if it doesn't, then maybe it should go to good tier instead. You know, Donald, Joe is making some solid points. Don't you think you have a bit too much at God-tier? Fuck off, you two. I'm making the list, and next-gen gaming is cool no matter what console it is. I just wanted it up there so the broke motherfuckers don't feel bad when they play their Series S. Wow, okay, well, can you wrap up the list now? Don't tell me what the fuck to do, Joe. You know I hate authority figures. Sorry, Donnie. Can you please continue the tier list? Thank you for asking nicely, and I will. To be honest, I never touch Google Stadia or whatever the fuck that other thing is, so they're trash tier for me. Okay-ish list, Donald, but where would you rank a gaming PC in all this? Yeah, he wouldn't know since Melania won't let him get one. I actually know exactly where I would rate it, and that is V for virgins, you fucking PC losers. What is up, gang of Lang? It is your presidential trio back at it with another tier list, but this time we are bringing you all a video game slash console controller tier list. We don't want to include keyboard and mouse for all you PC losers, so this is exclusively for consoles only. We, uh, 
Who's we? Last time I checked me and the Joe dog happily game on our computers while you sit there angry that you can't. Shut up. Just wait till Christmas rolls around and maybe Baron might give me his PC because he's probably looking to upgrade his build. Wow, that sounds like a good gift. I'm not really used to cool gifts like that. Every Christmas I uh, invite Hunter, he just either declines outright unless I bring him the good stuff. And every time I bring the goods, he calls me an idiot and takes 200 bucks out of my wallet and leaves. Joe, just what do you think the good stuff really is? I just assume he's talking about meat and cheese, so I bring him different sets of charcuterie boards, and I feel like I haven't found the right mix that he likes yet. That makes me a terrible dad. Uh, yeah, we'll say that's the reason. Totally not the fact that he means the good stuff is cocaine, and you choose to bring him none. Frankly, I don't blame him at all, because I too would be upset if I were expecting some blow, and instead I saw you. But enough of Joe's inner familial struggles. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about these controllers. These are in a randomized order so that it can give this list some variety. And up first, we got the Joy-Con controllers for the Nintendo Switch. I like these a lot, don't get me wrong, but these things get stick drift like crazy and just aren't well suited for long-term gaming. I do, however, really like these and enjoy the stuff they can do with motion controls and the way you can split them apart and play two players. I think all in all, this would merit a solid A tier from the Dominator. Stick drift absolutely sucks. But I can see why'd you put these up there, maybe not A tier, but it's decent. I would still rather have a pro controller most of the time though. But you can't split a pro controller in half, so checkmate there. Anyways, up next we got back-to-back -back Xbox controllers, and up first we got a good old-fashioned Xbox 360 controller up first. And I don't have much to say about this one. It's a solid controller, and honestly, without this one, we wouldn't have the amazing new Xbox controllers. It's like a refined version of this one, so I have to place the 360 controller at A tier alongside the Joy-Cons. But this is where we reach a bit of a problem. We then have to rank the OG Xbox controller, and I cannot with a straight face say these were great. This controller stinks up a room faster than Lizzo after a workout. I am not a fan of this controller, but there are certainly worse. So I think the OG Xbox controller gets a solid C tier from me. The OG Xbox controllers look so ugly to me, like a huge big square being put into my hands, but you have a point about it being necessary to make the better controllers. See, me personally, I was a huge fan of both controllers, but I guess that's just me. Of course, you would be Joey. Sometimes I feel like you just be talking to say, like, I feel like you need to have your voice be heard constantly. Anyways, up next is the Super Nintendo controller, and these handle pretty nicely, but compared to more modern controllers, they pale a bit in comparison, and I think a solid B tier is in order. But if I were ever to play any classic games, I'd much rather have these than another controller, if that makes sense. So, like, if you're gonna play a Super Nintendo game, you'd rather have that OG controller rather than emulate on the Switch or something? Well, yes, but really it's with almost any game except more of the modern ones, if that makes sense. But yeah, speaking of modern, we got the PS4 controller up next, and I have this going into A tier. I enjoy the enhancement from the PlayStation 3 controller, but I still feel like that big touchpad in the middle is kind of useless. Like, let's be honest here. No one in their right mind is jumping for joy for the big-ass touchpad right in the smack-dab middle of our controller. It basically became the select button and almost serves no other purpose in games. Now, you can't say that. Remember that infamous second son makes use of the touchpad. Joe, I don't ever want to hear you mention infamous second son to me again. It's a good game, but never speak to me about it. I am tired of that game because it was the only exclusive on PlayStation 4 for like a hot minute. Up next, we got two Sega consoles, so like only a one-tenth of the audience will have even heard of these things. And we got the Sega Saturn going up first, and this thing was a mess. It had like a million buttons on it, but it still somehow managed to be better than the Genesis. And because of that, I will be placing the Sega Saturn controller into C tier and the Genesis controller into D tier because I really was not a fan of it. The disrespect for Sega here is insane. Disrespect these nuts, Barack. Up next, we got the Wii U, and you all already know what stanky ass rating I'm about to give this. Firstly, it sold like garbage, and to play the games, I had to use this big ass iPad looking thing just to be able to do anything. It was like the size of a Steam Deck, but on steroids, and it felt clunky as hell to use. And for that, I think I'm gonna give it a C tier. Okay, literally last list, you were on my ass for not ranking cheese as low. And here you are talking all this trash on these controllers, but placing them as high as C tier. 
Did you not see me just place something into D tier, you Neanderthal? I can assure you that this list is looking a lot better than your cheese tier list because what the hell was that Brie cheese take? Listen, man, I had to make some cuts somewhere. And you cut in the wrong spot, but that's neither here nor there because up next we got the PlayStation 1 analog controller. And this right here is another B tier because it is definitely better than the PlayStation 1 controller with no joysticks. But it still isn't up to snuff because there are way, way better controller out right now like this next one, which is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I love this controller and would place it in S, but I think some other controllers beat it in functionality because there are always those Switch games that need a Joy-Con like Mario Party, for example. But it still is very good. And I believe it should go into A tier because this thing is a great alternative for most games and avoids the big stick drift issue on Joy-Cons. Solid, solid reasoning. Quite honestly, I expected more of a, I like the way this controller looks, or a, I like the color and the way it feels, rather than some actual nuanced takes. Bravo, Donald. Yeah, but let's just wait for that one comment that's about to ass blast me for my Sega controller takes, because there's always gonna be that one person. But you know what? I respect their dedication to Sega. Anyways, up next we got the OG PlayStation 1 controller with no analogs. And this was the worst iteration of a Sony controller, but playing classic PlayStation titles with this controller wasn't half bad. I'd give it a solid C tier for its attempt at making a simple controller and succeeding. Up next though, I think we got the ultimate controller and that is the PlayStation 2 controller. I have this sucker going into S tier, but maybe I am being blinded by nostalgia, but I feel like it had the most natural feel of any controller, especially for the time it was made. It didn't have any useless features and was bona fide at the time. I genuinely have no gripes with this controller at all. I feel like you're just sucking off Sony at this point. We don't even have a PlayStation 5 controller on this tier list, so like, what the hell, man? Okay, how the hell would I be sucking off Sony when the PlayStation 5 controller isn't here? And don't blame me, Sleepy Joe. Blame our editor, Frail, instead, because he forgot to get a list that would include it. But I'll give an unofficial ranking on it right now. I think it would slot into S tier if I am being quite frank. I still think the huge touchpad is dumb, but I like the overall feel of it and the USB-C charging port. Dude, you're doing tricks on it. You love that Sony D, don't you? But yeah, honestly, I love it too, because I can also use it on my PC wirelessly, which bangs. See, you're sucking them off too, and quite frankly, I do not care about that at all because I don't have a PC right now. Christmas is right around the corner, man, so you better gear up. Fuck, I guess you're right. But anyways, up next, I got a spicy take. I know I'm gonna have some rabid Nintendo fanboys come at me for this, but I do not think the GameCube controllers are the best Nintendo remote and will have it going into A tier. It holds a lot of nostalgia in my heart, but I feel like it was a bit clunky at times. Don't get me wrong, it worked for the games on that console, but enough time has passed for me to realize they could have done better. While the Nintendo fans are seething in rage from that, I may as well add fuel to the flame and say that the classic Nintendo controller is a B tier. It gets some legacy points from me, and I will also be adding the Nintendo 64 controller into B tier as well. I like the controller, don't get me wrong, but why the hell is it shaped like a trident? Like who the hell thought it was a good idea to have that design? Either way, thought it was a bop and fun to use on a classic console like the Nintendo 64. I don't think those were hot takes, to be honest. Maybe the GameCube one, but I don't think many will argue with you on the other two. In fact, I think people would place the classic Nintendo controller even lower than B. We don't know what the people will approve of, but either way, I gotta get to ranking, and up next we got the Dreamcast controller, and this leapfrog-ass looking thing was all right. They definitely could have just made it smaller, and it probably would be high for me, but it's wider than Jonah Hill and Superbad, and I genuinely just didn't like Sega consoles, so I think I'll be placing this into C tier. Yeah, you're just a Sega hater. Figures that you would just hate on them for no reason, even though their consoles were good. This isn't a console ranking, and plus, all they literally had to do was make more Sonic games that didn't suck ass, and they probably would have been fine, but you know what? I am a hater. So what? Up next, we got the best freaking controller ever, and I say this knowing they were gimmicky at first, but you all cannot tell me that the Wii did not have elite controllers. Like the fact that Nintendo went out of their way to make brand new controllers focused on motion and something the industry hasn't seen and how other companies tried to copy them and failed miserably just shows how absolutely goaded these controllers are and I am placing the Wii Mote and Nunchuck into S tier. The Wii Mote is goaded, I cannot lie, but goddamn S is high. 
I cannot ignore the balls Nintendo had to just drop their huge sack all over the industry with their new console and controllers, so I have to place them high. Now we're nearing the end, and let's just continue the list rapid fire these controllers that are up next. And we got the PlayStation 3 controller, and I don't know what it was about these controllers, but it felt like a downgrade from PlayStation 2, and I have to give these a B tier. They were still serviceable, but up next we got the updated version of the OG Xbox controller, and more similar to the modern designs, but I don't care because it is still ass, and I will be giving that a C tier. And lastly, to finish off the Xbox, Elite controllers are up next, and this is an S tier. This is probably the best controller I have felt aside from the PS5 controllers. I love the way it fits in my hands, and it feels just right. I bet you love the way it feels in your hands, don't you? Uh, yeah, I do. Boo, Joey, that was a miss. Oh, but when Donald does it, all of a sudden it's hilarious. You simply do not have my aura. Aura D's nuts. What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back for another tier list, but this time we're going to do one based on Nintendo consoles only. And you all already know that this video will bang. Leave it to Barack to always try to fit in the word bang into any sentence he says. What's next? This video will blow up. Is it always bomb related with you? I was just saying it was a good video. Don't start this BS again, man. You guys ever try opening naughty websites on the Wii? Man, it was awkward pulling up those things in the living room TV. Not gonna lie, Joe kinda real for that comment. Preach! Anyways, up first, we got the first Nintendo home console, and I'm putting it at a solid C tier. Like, it isn't bad, but I'm not picking that up first when I have a Super Nintendo instead. I'm gonna be honest, I can't even remember what games were on there. Does not surprise me one bit that you don't remember. What year is it again, Joe? Shit, I don't know, man. Do I look like some mathematician? God, Joe, it has nothing to do with that. Whatever man let us just go into the next console and you were already sucking it off, Donald. But I personally am placing the Super Nintendo into A tier. Why the hell is this not an S tier? Please tell me how one of the most influential consoles somehow does not make it to the top. Now hold on, let him cook. Wow, thanks Joe. But yeah, let me cook up something fierce because my S tier consoles are truly elite. I think this list is accurate as hell. It better be since it's already kind of pissing me off. Don't worry, up next we got an obvious ass one here, but Virtual Boy heading into D tier. It was VR before VR, but it was also ass before the invention of ass. I can almost say the same for the Game Boy, which I have going into C tier. Now this is some bull. Explain yourself for this one, Barack. Me personally, I like the DS. Okay. Thanks for the input, Joey, but not now. Donald, I have this in C tier because although it was the first iteration to inspire the future consoles, it just kind of sucked. Like. Do you remember any good games on it? Plus, it was in black and white. Don't worry, though. You'll go back on the Barry train once you see me placing the Nintendo 64 into S tier. Now we are cooking with oil. Sleepy Joe, you buffoon. It's cooking with fucking gas. But yeah, I will admit, Barry, this was possibly the easiest dub you could give yourself. Don't go off riding your own jock over this easy placement. Everyone who played the Nintendo 64 knows of how gas it was and how elite games like Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Star Fox, Smash, and all those other games are. Okay, fine, but how are we feeling about the Game Boy Color? I have it going into B tier, personally. Okay, that's a dub right there. I feel like it's the correct placement, as it hasn't hit the peak yet with Nintendo handheld consoles. I remember when color TVs were a thing, and that was cool. Color on my Game Boy was cool too, and the Pokemon games banged. Spitting for once, Joe Dog. Wait for this next one. This next console is heavily underappreciated and was elite as hell if you had it back then. I have the GameCube going into S tier because those games on it were so freaking good. Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, every single Mario Party on it slapped Pokemon XD, Metroid Luigi's Mansion. Like I can keep going. Shout out to Super Monkey Ball. Frail, Mr. Editor, please change the background music to Super Monkey Ball music. Joey gets the vibes, this music is banging. Next we have the Game Boy Advance, and this was almost an S tier for me, but the DS is peak for me and I can't rate them the same, so I will go with a very high A tier ranking. Like imagine a 89.9, and that's the rating for the Game Boy Advance. You are tripping for this one dog. The Game Boy Advance is a certified banger. Okay, but get this. You can play Game Boy and DS games on our next entry, and for that reason alone, I put the DS in S tier, and like that shit was just elite as hell in its own right as well. 
Gen 4 and 5 for Pokemon dominated the DS for me. It was two back-to-back -back masterpieces. I didn't think of the fact that it can play both. I actually agree with this take now, what the hell? Won't be the last time you agree with me because I have the Wii going into S tier and that was like a gimme right there. It can play GameCube games and it had powerhouse titles on it as well. Ahem, like how we are currently playing Super Mario Galaxy on our channel right now and you can all see it right now. W on the shameless plug Joey. Plus that game is arguably the best 3D Mario platformer, but I digress. We must now move on to the 3DS, which I have going into B tier. This might be the most controversial one here, but I feel like there should have been more on it. I don't think it had its full potential unleashed. I oddly enough agree with you here. I just played Pokemon and Smash on it. I just used it to look up porn. And that's enough. We now will move on to the Wii U, which I have going into C tier. Had good games and a neat idea, but it could not deliver in the end and barely anyone had a Wii U. It felt like the biggest flop Nintendo had in a while. I can't even lie, I love the hell out of my Wii U, but it definitely felt like Nintendo was in their flop era when that came out. They were extremely down bad for sales. I'm down bad for some mommy milkers. You need to relax today, man, Jesus Christ. I know what he's doing after we finish this video. I don't even want to think about it, gross. Lastly, we got the Switch, and it may be recency bias, but I have this in S tier. After their flop era, Nintendo came back and like dicked down everyone. It has some of the best games and ports to their console. I love their new releases so much, but I just wish it was a bit more powerful. You know what, I wanted to be a hater, but you did cook a bit with this list. I actually agreed with most takes on this list. Okay, but guys, which one is the best to look up mommy milkers on? Ah, uh, hamburgers. What is up, gang? We are back, bringing you another console tier list, but this time it will be focused on PlayStation consoles specifically. And as a longtime fan of these devices, I have to say that the Don is ready to dominate this list. I have a good feeling that you're gonna have a pretty great list, Donnie. Not gonna lie. Was that long pause before the not gonna lie needed? I mean, it would be pretty hard to mess up a list with like literally only five or seven consoles on them. So yeah, of course my list is gonna bang. Wait a minute, fellas. Where's the PlayStation 5? I don't see it on this list. I don't know, but we can rank it in the end if we remember it's only one console and not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and get this started. And up first, we have the true OG, and that is the very first PlayStation. I personally have this going into B tier, and I don't think that's too crazy. I remember playing the hell out of Crash and Spyro on this thing. Okay, yes, Sleepy Joe, it did have some banging exclusives. But I want everyone to remember that we are comparing it to every other Sony console on this list and as much fun as the OG was and how it paved the way for the rest. I am letting this shit stay in B tier because we all know the PlayStation 2 was like miles and miles better. I mean, that's a valid assessment, but I think the OG PlayStation should get some legend points or something because it was amazing for what it was back in the day. Now that would be pity points, Barack, and unlike the Democratic Party, I keep it real with everyone, and I am keeping this shit in B tier. Moving on, though, as you all already must know, I have the PlayStation 2 going into S tier. That is no surprise at all. This console was like the biggest meech of them all. This is like 99 overall greatness, and everyone who owned a PlayStation 2 knows of how godly this thing was. We had so many bangers on that generation of gaming, and I love the exclusives on this thing. We can even throw it back to like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, God of War, Twisted Metal. Like I don't even need to keep going is the crazy part. I mean, if we compare it to Xbox or GameCube, it really wasn't that much different. And wasn't the GameCube like specs wise better than the PS2? Shut the hell up, Joey. Jesus listening to you almost gave me an aneurysm. And yes, whilst they're all the same generation. The PlayStation 2 had everyone's number and mostly everyone had that console. Of course, Xbox 360 made a comeback, but man, the PS2 had a stranglehold on the gaming community. Yeah, Joey, you kind of pissed me off with that take, but the GameCube was elite as well. It's really just Xbox that was floundering. Thank you guys, and up next we got the PSP, and I may get hate, but I have this only in B tier. It was good as hell, especially for its time, but shit, man, I feel like they could have done a bit more with it and having to directly compete with Nintendo handhelds is like putting some frail 100 pound, five foot one dude against a mega sized Lizzo. Like maybe they'll get a couple of shots in, but you know, Lizzo will right quick sit on them and it's gonna be game over. The games were better on PSP than on PS Vita, I'll give it that much. I kind of get you on that, 
but it had a decent bit of games. And if you owned a PSP, you know, it was low-key slept on a bit. I freaking loved using the internet browser on my PSP. You already know the Joe Dog was heading straight to the good, good sites if you all catch my drift. I do catch it, but I hate having something in common with you, so I'm just ignoring it. I agree the PSP is slept on, but I can't go higher than a B. Anyways, we got Sony's most controversial console because they wanted to gangbang us with their high-ass price just because it played Blu-ray movies, and that is the PlayStation 3. I'm actually interested where you're going to place this. Okay, so my reasoning behind this decision is that I owned a PS3 day one, and I will admit it. That shit was indeed expensive for no reason at all. But I very fondly remember the PlayStation 3, and since we're not directly comparing it to Xbox, but instead just with other Sony consoles. I have this going into A tier. If you owned one, you know how nice it was, and playing Blu-ray movies is kind of a flex. I twerked heavily for the exclusives, too. I loved Uncharted, Little Big Planet, and The Last of Us. I liked Infamous, because I could, like, shoot lightning and stuff. Joe, don't even bring up that game. I love the series, don't get me wrong, but I have PTSD from only owning Infamous Second Son on my PS4 and having to replay it over and over so I didn't feel like I wasted 400 bucks on a PS4. Hell, I even got the Platinum Trophy on it. Don't feel special, Barack. Everyone and their goddamn mom got the Platinum Trophy for Infamous Second Son. That game was more ran through than the Kardashian family. Before we get started talking about the PS4, let's please talk about the PS Vita. Does anyone even remember owning one? Because I unfortunately do. Now remember how I said that the PSP would have been good had it gotten more support. Imagine the PSP as a neglected child, but it still had like loving relatives like an aunt and uncle or maybe a grandma and grandpa. The Vita had absolutely no one. It was treated like a goddamn stray dog on the side of the streets. The exclusives weren't that good, and it just didn't get that many games at all. At least games that you would love to play. If you have good memories with the Vita more power to you, but I can't rank this on the same tier as a PSP, so I have this going into C tier. RIP to the Vita. It was a legendary web browser for me. Gross, Joe. Let the man spit his truth. Anyways, we got the PS4 last. And even though I was throwing shade earlier at it, having like no games at the start of its release, it quickly came back. And I would say that Sony took control of the gaming market with this one. It carried so much momentum that transferred over to the PS5. For that and the great exclusives, it eventually got like Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, Bloodborne, God of War again. Like there are so many more to list off, but I would be here all day. I can confidently tell you all that this shit easily belongs in S tier. Spitting right now. I loved my PS4 so much, even if it sounds like a jet engine right now. I use my PS4 to keep my food warm when I'm using it. But anyways, Donald, where are you placing the PS5 at? Since I'm a glorious leader, I'll leave it up to the comments to decide. We're a solid bit into the life cycle, but me personally, I am thinking an A or B tier, but I'm not too firm on that. Maybe the comment section will change my mind. I just wish the haptic feedback on the controller would work when I pull up my favorite app on there, web browser and straight to the hub. What is up, everyone? The Joe Dog is here giving you guys another tier list. As always, I'm joined by my buddies, Donald and Barack. Buddies is being a bit nice, but sure you can call me that Joe since I know you don't hang out with other people. You're only pretending to be mean. I know how you are, Donald. You're doing it for the viewers. But anyways, we are going to do a social media tier list today, and I have a decent lineup here, and I will be ranking each and every single one. To start this great list off, we have an S tier right off the bat, and that is YouTube. Who doesn't like this? It's basically better than cable at this point, and it's where I watch everything and anything. Like you all today are watching this on YouTube. And we also have YouTube Shorts. Yeah, we know how much you love YouTube Shorts, Joey. You're always blasting them in the freaking car when we pick you up. I can't help it. You guys always make me sit in the back and it gets boring back there. Joey, you are such a freaking iPad kid. I bet the only way you pay attention to things is if you have subway surfers playing in the background. Well, um, maybe, but that's aside from the point. Let's keep doing this tier list. And up next, we got another S tier, and that is Reddit. I freaking love Reddit. I am always up to no good on that app, and I can't open it in public, but oh man. When I'm alone, it becomes my favorite app for like six minutes. What you are implying, Joe, is absolutely vile. Nah, I hard smell him on this. Reddit is for fiend activity and the Don fully endorses that type of stuff. I knew you would get me on that one, Donald. 
Up next, I can't even lie. It's another S tier, and that is Twitter. When Reddit is down, you all already know that it's game over when I pull this up. It is basically raps whenever I stalk a girl's profile and I see a Twitter link. Again, this is so gross. I use Twitter for gaming news and sometimes sports. Why can't you do that instead? Barack, we all know you're lame. You don't have to keep reminding us. You keep preaching right now, Joey. On God, Donald, up next we got Discord and I am placing this into A tier. Like we use it a lot for gaming, but I don't have any kittens on here because my last Discord got banned. And for that, I am placing it only in A tier. I was so mad that I was banned because I had so many nefarious ass Discord servers on one profile. Jesus, Joe, you dirty, dirty dog. You're making me so proud right now. What can I say? The Joe dog never stops with his schemes. I'd be rubbing my hands like a fly whenever I'm up to no good. Speaking of no good, we got our first F tier in Google+. I don't think a damn soul ever used this and I don't blame them. It was stupid as hell. The same cannot be said for Instagram. This will go straight to B for baddie because I only use Instagram as a baddie searching device. I will skulk and stalk my prey through this app. Joe, you need to fucking relax with your vocabulary. You are sounding like a real creep right now. All right, I'll relax a bit. Up next, we got WhatsApp, and to be honest, this is a solid B tier. I used it a lot whenever Hunter would go on his cocaine rampages in Colombia. I had to contact him through that app and nothing else. Dude, you keep forgetting to tell him to bring me some. I should add him on that app since all the illegals seem to love using it. Yeah, it's pretty popular, like how every girl I know has a Pinterest, but this app is not that good. I give it a solid C because at least it's better than Google Plus and our next entry, Tumblr. Man, I freaking hate Tumblr now. It used to be the bomb.com, but ever since they stopped people from posting a certain type of content. I've had to use Discord, Reddit, and Twitter exclusively. Joe, I think we need to have a serious talk with you about the amount of usage those apps get from you regarding that uh, content you seem to enjoy. I don't have an addiction and I can stop whenever I want, which is not now. Anyways, up next we got Facebook Messenger and Facebook. They both go in C tier for me because only old people use Facebook. Not me though. I am young and hip. Joey, you are neither young nor hip and it's okay to admit you use Facebook. I've seen you on it before, so why even bother lying? Don't know what you're talking about, but let's move on to TikTok. I am giving this an A tier because I prefer YouTube shorts now. I have seen the light and will not be influenced by China. God, you have been speaking to Donald again, haven't you? There is nothing wrong with TikTok and the Chinese won't steal your info, Joey. That's exactly what they want you to think, Joey. The only thing TikTok is good for is for finding even more baddies who are doing some nice dance challenges. You are so right, Donald. And for some reason, up next, we got Spotify. I don't know why that's here, but I like listening to music, so I guess this will go into A tier for me, but it's not really a social media platform unless I share my playlist with someone. And then we lastly move on to Snapchat. I freaking love this app and will place it into S tier because I use it every day to snap and text these girls I meet online. Joe, you may want to watch out. No grown woman is using Snapchat every day and snapping an old guy like you. Have you asked any of these girls their age? Nah, I'm sure they're fine. Well, actually, a lot of them do ask me for help in algebra. And a couple of others also ask me for help in anatomy. Holy shit, uh, I'll be back. I just gotta delete some stuff. Jesus Christ, can you believe that, Donald? What an idiot that guy is. Uh, yeah, haha. -ha. Will you excuse me for one second, Barack? I also have to delete some stuff, but it is completely unrelated to anything we were just talking about. God help me. What is up, gang? We are back with another video, and this time around we are doing a streaming services tier list. So go ahead and get ready to cancel all the trash ones we are about to mention. Yeah, I'm noticing we're missing a few streaming services like where the heck is the hub and X Hamster. No way am I ever going to put those two in this list. Now hold on, Barack. Let's hear Joey out on this one because I think it's a valid question. Like for me, I want to know where Brazzers would rank on this list. And you two are officially done from commenting further on this. Let's start this tier list, and up first, we got Apple TV. And I think it is fair to say that this is fairly mid and have it in C tier. I don't know anything on their streaming service aside from Ted Lasso, which by the way, absolutely bangs. I am a huge Ted Lasso guy and it's a very feel good show. Feel good show, huh? Does it feel good to watch Ted Lasso go through his divorce and barely see his kid because he's halfway across the world? Is that the type of stuff that you enjoy, Barack? 
Jesus, man, it's a good show, and that is just a part of the plot. Anyways, up next we got CBS All Access, which is also more known as Paramount Plus to everyone. I also have this going into C tier alongside Apple TV. The reason for this is because this is basically just my South Park service. I don't see anyone else actually using this thing, unless God forbid you're like Joey over here who constantly watches Young Sheldon for whatever reason instead of South Park. Listen, man, I hear all the Young Sheldon hate, but riddle me this. Have you guys ever tried watching it? Joe, no one in their right mind should be watching Young Sheldon out of their own free will. Like gun to my head, well shit, I guess I'll watch it, but otherwise, I will choose to watch any other show in existence. Yeah, you're missing out on some peak. Young Sheldon will forever remain the best show to have in the background playing while I'm doing almost anything else. You two can't understand the value in that because I am much, much more busier than you two because of all my presidential duties. Joe, the other day you showed me your screen time on your phone and I saw you had over eight hours on TikTok. What could possibly be keeping you so busy that you need a background show to be playing? Those eight hours were Chinese surveillance in order to make sure the future of America isn't being tainted, and I had to make sure there weren't any subliminal messages throughout it. Safe to say the big bundas I saw on my For You page were not of national security concern, so you're welcome for keeping all of America safe. Wow, we are so grateful anyways. Up next we got Disney Plus, and this rating might make all you Marvel goblinoids mad, but I am putting this in A tier. Like I am not trying to watch every single Marvel show in existence. They make shows for just about anyone these days. And I also don't want to watch every Disney movie all over again. I'm sorry to the 7% of our female audience and all the Disney boys, but I am not going to watch Lion King for the fifth time. Whoa, 7% of our audience identify as women? How sexist of you, Barack, to assume they would be watching Disney movies. Don't worry, ladies, I'm gonna have to turn on the Joe charm soon to put Barack in his place. You emanate as much charm as an obese slug, Joey. But you know what that is valid to say. And I apologize to any ladies watching this. Anyways, up next we got Hulu. And what can I say except for that, I'm a sucker for Hulu. They have almost everything and it's cheaper than a lot of streaming services and I personally don't mind the ads. But if you're not a fan, then you can upgrade to ad free. Hulu also added live sports like, it is simply elite and I will be placing this into S tier. I am a sucker for Hulu, so I will allow this placement, but looking at this tier list, I feel like there is like two more S tiers waiting for us on this list. You better not mess this up, Barry. Can you relax, man? I know what I'm doing. I feel like I have the best tier list, but whatever. And up next, we got Fubo. I don't know what the hell that is, and I don't even feel like looking it up. It's mainly local channels and sports stuff. Really, it's kind of useless since we got other streaming services that already have live sports and also offer better stuff with it as well. Yeah, I'm feeling a D tier on this one. It just seems lousy. Up next, we got HBO Max, or now known as just Max. I also am a huge fan of Max. I like their shows and how they have access to a lot of Cartoon Network and Adult Swim shows. Not to mention they have movies and now they're adding some live sports. Like, this is just a good-ass streaming service, and I would heavily recommend people get this one, and we'll place this into S-tier. You know what show is a banger? Which one, Joe? Ten-year-old Tom and Smiling Friends are both indeed certified double platinum by the Joe Dog as certified bangers. Of course, Joe would like a show about some ten-year-old named Tom. You like sniffing him on the screen or something? Now, wait a minute. I unfortunately have to admit that Joe is cooking right now. Ten-year-old Tom is funny as hell, and Smiling Friends is also bona fide as well. If you haven't seen it, I would heavily recommend them both. But yeah, anyways, up next we got Netflix. Home of all the original shows in all of existence. Too bad a lot of them are terrible, like look at Riverdale and that god-awful show. I will say though that the One Piece live action was a bop and kudos on them for that. But they've made so many stinkers, but they get legacy points from me for being one of the OG streaming services. I still think that they charge too much right now but I will give them a solid A tier for legacy reasons and the series they've created. I know they didn't make Breaking Bad, but I binged it all on there and I personally really like Stranger Things. Don't get Joe started on Stranger Things because he twerks for Millie Bobby Brown. You, isn't she like a child? <laughs> Not anymore. Joey won the lottery that day. That is so vile, man. Let's just move past that and talk about Peacock. 
I don't really like Peacock unless I'm watching The Office. Still though, I will put it above Apple TV and CBS at B tier because I really do like The Office and they also have Modern Family and New Girl, so like, there's at least that. I do really like The Office. It sucks that they have to put it behind that because if they offered it almost anywhere else, I would not have a Peacock subscription. True that, man, but that's how they get you. Like Peacock without The Office would genuinely be borderline D tier. Maybe a C tier. Anyways, up next we got Prime Video and this was a tough one for me. Most people have Amazon Prime, so I'd naturally put this high up and even considered an S tier for this because everyone probably has it either way. But that's not how I wanted to do the list. I wanted to do it purely as a platform. And on its own, it is pretty good and it's arguable that it can belong in S tier. But me personally, I have it going into A tier. I love the boys and Invincible, and I like the renting and buying options for shows and movies on there, but I feel like they don't have enough to get them over the hump and place themselves into S tier. How did it even get placed that high? It literally only has a couple of good originals and most things on there you have to buy. Sleepy Joe, I know you love to constantly be sleeping, but do not disrespect the originals they have. I freaking love the boys and I don't even know if I will live long enough for Invincible season two. Yeah, I have to agree with Donald, Joe. You're massively sleeping on it, if you think that's true. Uh, anyways, up next, we got Quibi, and this is an automatic D tier. I don't even think they're in service anymore because it was that big of a failure. Then after that, we got Sling, and I'll give Sling a C tier. It's basically like the shitty booty version of our next entry because it offers live TV and a bunch of channels, but it's pretty bad in comparison to the top dog up next. You sure are hyping up YouTube TV? You sure you're not only doing that because they write our check? No, like YouTube TV is actually elite. I would be praising it even if they weren't writing our checks. But anyways, let me explain why I love it so much. It has live channels and sports and I can record stuff or pull up shows I missed at any time. I can also rent movies and it's basically cable, but even better. I like being able to just pull up any show or movie that was airing that I may have missed. Or better yet, Watch something that is about to air, like you got me messed up if you think I am gonna miss the new premiere of season seven of Rick and Morty. Seriously, everyone, if you want something similar to cable, then I would heavily recommend YouTube TV, which I have going into S tier. This definitely feels like you're sucking off the service, man. Is it really much more different than other services on here? Like I'm pretty sure Rick and Morty is on Max literally the next day after so is all this hoopla really necessary for YouTube TV? Yeah, but I can watch Rick and Morty as it's premiering. Maybe I just miss Cableman. Is there something wrong with wanting things like how it was back then? I remember being excited to watch something air on TV or looking forward to the next new episode of whatever show I was watching. You know what? That's valid as hell. I kind of miss how it was back then too, but it's basically the same thing now. Look at all these streaming services you listed off for this tier list and they're pulling off exclusive rights to certain shows. So if I wanna watch SpongeBob or the new iCarly, I gotta go on Paramount. If I wanna watch Cartoon Network shows, I gotta go on Max. If I wanna watch Stranger Things, I gotta go on Netflix and so on and so forth. I'm starting to realize this is all a load of bull to make us pay more. You know what? You are spitting right now. This is basically like video game console exclusives, but cranked up to 11. You know what? We all need to band together and only use one exclusive service, or better yet, just use none at all. Maybe I will go back to cable or just use YouTube TV. I might have to hop on that train because I'm not a fan of all these streaming services hogging up my bills. Yeah, you guys do you because me personally, I gotta have my young Sheldon on in the background while I scroll through my Bundafield TikTok.